this is Jack, 10 years old. Yeah. We had a hypercuridon on his right foot. When was it, uh, June, uh, Daddy? June 12th. June 12th, and then we did the other foot, his left foot, about four days ago. Yeah, July 13th. Mm -hmm. So then, you know, he had no arch at the time, a lot of issue with flat feet, and um, his dad did a lot, a lot of research, went to many different doctors until he found us, and then about, and then also Hypercure, and then um, here they are. How do you feel after this uh, left foot surgery four um, days ago? Did you have some pain? Or? Nope, no pain at all. Great. I'm so happy to hear that. And then how are you doing with your right foot? Getting feels better? like back to normal. Okay. Like did before except with an arch. Uh, nice. Mm -hmm. And I know your dad has been working with you to strengthen it mm -hmm. and then you know, have more flexible calf yeah. muscle and Achilles tendon that will make big difference. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. Here's uh, Daddy. Yeah. How are you? And uh, please tell me about your experience as a parent. Um, about what he, you know, you saw him when what he went through before you um, had him done hypercure. Sure. So um, I'm I'm a former athlete, and um, I noticed early on when Jack started walking at age one that he pronated a lot. And our pediatrician, who we respect a lot, said, "Oh, all babies, young kids, toddlers pronate." And then at age two, Jack was actually diagnosed with low muscle tone, and it impacted his speech. And then his pronation got worse and worse, so we put him in orthotics, and he did OT and PT at age two. And then at age four, our pediatrician, we were still complaining about the pronation, and the pediatrician said, you know, you should have him skate, ice skate. That'll strengthen his ankles, so we had him ice skate. And then we eventually we play hockey because I'm a former athlete, so we had to play a lot of hockey. And the pronation in hockey is actually really, really bad because it drags the skate and makes you skate slower. So Jack was a good skater, but he's, he skated a little bit slower. He was actually working twice as hard. The coaches would say he's working twice as hard as everybody else to go the same distance and same speed. And he's always a step or two behind. And then running, um, he was a little bit slower too, right, Jack, um, than most kids. And uh, his gait was off. And his skating gait was off. And his running gait was it's just very unique. And um, eventually, I just went to a, a number of doctors, and nobody seemed to have a cure. They just said, there's no, nothing you can do. I asked about surgery. There's nothing to do. And one day in May of 2017, so probably two months ago, I was working late, and I just started Google searching pronation um, surgery, and I found HyproCure. And my wife and I, we did a lot of it, analysis around it. Study. We called a bunch of people. I talked to somebody who had the surgery done seven years ago. And uh, eventually we decided to pull the trigger. And, and most importantly, though, I called the actual company that makes uh, HypoCure. And I asked them, um, which was kind of neat, I said, I'm thinking about the, having the procedure for my son. I would like to, and I hadn't told them where I was from, but I said, I would like to have um, the best surgeon, the guy who's done the most, or the, the doctor who's done the most procedures in my region or my area, that's who I want to take my son to. And she said, the woman from the company said, where do you live? And I said, Chicago. And she said, I was hoping you would say Chicago, because she said, the person you need to go see is Dr. On. And she said, if I had a child, I would go have Dr. On oh, do the that's, surgery. That's so sweet. Yeah. And, um, and to be honest, and so I... Um, you know, and so I called my wife and I told her about it. And what did mom say? This is all on me, right? Yes. She said, she goes, if this is screwed up, I'm going to divorce you. Because she did not want to have surgery. Oh, no. she, yeah, she goes, she was joking around. But right. she just didn't like, you know, having surgery or whatnot. And then what we did is we actually went online and saw the doctor who invented um, Hypercure. He has a seven or eight minute video on YouTube. Yeah. And he just showed the procedure. He showed where past stents that were invented and used you know, 20 years ago where they were implanted wrong and where they had to be taken out. And then he showed how he does the procedure and he was done in like seven minutes. And you realize how non-invasive the procedure was and it's it's been, it's, it, yeah, it, it's significantly um, uh, overachieved our expectations so far. So as far as, as a parent, um, would you recommend uh, this procedure to your friend and family? Oh, ab absolutely. And there's a number of kids who, um, who I know I see when you skate, they pronate and I ask their parents, hey, do they pronate naturally when they run and when they have you know bare feet? And they said, yes. 
and a lot of them because we've been away for the summer they don't know he's had this procedure but i would recommend it to anybody it's it nice. is it is it is amazing thank you so much for a compliment of my practice and my service um not only i love to help my patients but now my life's mission is also in teaching and coaching other yeah. surgeons are, um, they are aware of this procedure which is so minimally invasive and effective so they can help uh, more patients in their area so yeah. this is another reason I would like to make this video not only um, raise awareness of uh, this procedure to patients but also to doctors yeah and uh, you know my wife and I would be happy to talk to anybody Anybody who has questions about it, you know, feel free to give them our contact information because I can't, um, it's just amazing. It's just, mm. it's, it's, uh, it's life changing. It's just amazing. So I can't wait to see him skate again and run again. And uh, he's excited about it, right, Jack? Are you, are you glad you did it? Yep, I'm really glad I did it. Oh, thank you so much, Jack. And I know you do great, especially uh, you went through the first foot. I know that's tough for you. But you know, you believed in this procedure, believed in your daddy, and then now you know you're kind of into recovery. Yeah. And then I know you are you're gonna be uh, you know phenomenal, in whatever you pursue in your life from now on too. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Mm -hmm.